Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Kanmari method. This is a decluttering method that has taken the world by storm. It was invented by Marie Kondo a few years back, and since then she's written some best-selling books like The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, Spark Joy, and most recently she's appeared on a new Netflix show called Tidying Up. Her method, which she calls the Kanmari method, has become an extremely popular way of decluttering and organizing a home, but I feel like there's a lot of confusion on what exactly does this process entail. So today, in just a couple of minutes, I wanted to break down exactly what this decluttering method is, how to implement it in your home, and a couple of top tips for really implementing it in a successful way. So essentially, the Kanmari method is broken down into six steps, and Marie Kondo suggests that you follow each of them in sequential order. And the main idea behind this decluttering method is that ideally, you should only have to declutter your space once, and from that point on, you should be able to know inherently what whether or not to bring something into your life based on whether or not it sparks joy. So you go through one large massive decluttering of your home and then are able to live in the freedom and in the peaceful and joyful environment that you've then created. So that sounds amazing, obviously, but in order to take this idea and really turn it into a reality, Marie says that the first thing that you need to do is really commit yourself to making a change, commit yourself to tidying up. And this is really important because when you're going through and decluttering your entire life, that's a huge commitment to make. And you can't really do this in a half-hearted way. You really have to fully commit to saying, yes, I want to declutter. It's all about recognizing the fact that it's going to take a lot of time and effort to fully declutter your life. And it's about making that commitment and saying, yes, this is something I will do. It's something I'll start and it's something I'll finish. Marie shares that the second step in this process is to imagine your ideal life. And really imagining, visualizing, and dreaming of the life and the home that you want to create is a really important step of the process. As Dennis Waitley says, when you visualize, then you materialize. So the second step is all about envisioning your ideal decluttered space. You want to envision the life and the home that you want to create through decluttering and use that as a goal to guide you as you go through this tidying and organizing process. So these first two steps of the process are done even before you begin physically decluttering anything and they help set the stage for the process that you're about to embark on. And Marie Kondo shares that the third step is to finish letting go. A lot of times we have emotional or sentimental attachment to the items we have in our life and this step is all about coming to terms and coming to peace with the items that we're about to let go of. Marie Kondo says that a great way of really being able to say goodbye to an item in our life and kind of create emotional space between us and that object is to thank it for how it served us in our life. And then you can at that point declutter it. By really letting go emotionally of an item, it helps us to create a decluttered space that's going to be both physically and emotionally freeing. Okay, number four, this one really dives into the actual decluttering process. And according to the KonMari method, number four is to declutter by kind, not by location. And this can be a temptation for a lot of us when we begin decluttering to say, okay, let me declutter my kitchen, my living room, my bedroom. But what the KonMari method suggests instead is that you declutter by kind. So say you want to declutter your shoes, you would take all of your shoes from storage, from your entryway, from your closet, anywhere where you might have shoes stored and declutter all of them at once. And one of the biggest benefits of decluttering by kind is that you're able to really fully see exactly how much you have of something. And it makes it so that you're not going through and decluttering certain kinds of items multiple times. And the second part of this is really found in step five, which is to follow the right order. And according to the Kanmari method, we're to declutter from easy to hard. Uh, the idea behind this is that decluttering and tidying is really a muscle that you build up. As you figure out what sparks joy, which we'll get to in a second here, as you figure out what sparks joy, you'll become better and better at it um, with the easier things so that when you get to the difficult to declutter things, the sentimental items and things like that, you'll have an easier time of figuring out what actually sparks joy. So this step is really about decluttering from easy to hard and the Kanmari method really lays out a simple formula that we can use to declutter our spaces. Mari Kondo suggests that we declutter first our clothing, then our books, then our papers, then our kimono, which is essentially miscellaneous items, anything that doesn't fit into that category, and then finally ending off with sentimental items. And that brings us to the final step, which is to ask if it sparks joy. 
And this is probably the most iconic part of Marie Kondo's decluttering method. She in fact wrote an entire book about it, simply called Spark Joy. But the idea behind something sparking joy is really about does it make you happy? Is it something that you love? Is it something that you value? And this idea of sparking joy, Marie Kondo actually describes as being like a physical reaction. To figure out whether or not something sparks joy, simply hold that item in your hands and ask yourself, do I get a physical feeling of joy and of happiness and of love when I feel this item? It doesn't have to be super mushy gushy, although it can be, but just ask yourself, does this item make me happy to hold? And if it does, then it's something that you want to keep and take forward with you in this new life that you're creating. And that's all there really is to it. It might be something that's difficult for you at first, but practice it, really get comfortable with it. It's like a muscle and it's something that as you exercise over time, you will get better, it gets easier, and it becomes really intuitive for you as you get further along in your sparking joy process as you kind of continue through the KonMari method. So those are really the basics of the KonMari method, but not in included in those six steps are a couple of tips that are really crucial to Marie Kondo's organizing and decluttering method and I wanted to go over a couple of those briefly. First off, her folding method is really a unique and interesting way of folding. Essentially, she suggests folding things so that they can sit upright that way you're able to see everything as you're looking into a drawer. Another important factor to consider is that Marie Kondo's method is all about tidying by elimination. The life-changing magic of tidying up is really more about organizing and tidying by elimination rather than simply moving things around so that they look neater. So that's another factor to consider. And a final one is that the Kamari method is all about choosing what to keep in your life, not what to take away from it. So it's all about envisioning the life that you want to create and deciding which of your items belong in your life going forward. It's not about deciding what to declutter, but it's more about deciding what to keep. So there you have it. That is my short, succinct, and hopefully helpful explanation on what the KonMari method is and how you can implement it in your life. Of course, this was a really bird's eye view of what the KonMari method is, but there's so much more to Marie Kondo's decluttering system. So if you want to learn more about it, I highly recommend checking out some of her best-selling books like The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, Spark Joy, or her new Netflix series, Tidying Up. I'll have all of those linked up in the description box below for you to check them out. And if you're already familiar with the KonMari method, let me know down below what was one of your favorite tips or suggestions that KonMari has given that's really inspired you in your own life's journey. Comment that down below. And if you think that this material would be interesting to share with a friend, feel free to do that as well. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.